certainly don't want to see footage of you bullying your deaf cousin. Put your fucking phone away. I'm, I'm, show me later. Are we live, man? In all countries. Marty has a sty eye. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I had a sty under me eyelid and it's been giving me grief all week. I look like fucking lazy eye count. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> it's never fun. had a sty before. I Very have, uncomfortable. Mine went away within a day. Yours has been here for like almost a I've week. had mine over the weekend and this is the eye that already closes more than the other one. How did you get well, it? It looks better when you open know. it up. Yeah, in the mornings, it's terrible. It's Maybe. Fuck, I can barely open the fucking thing, cunt. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> it looks better now when you open it yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, but this is not comfortable. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it does look fat. Mm. It looks fat. It's, dis it's discolored. It's a darker... <laughs> Like it's like a bruised. Mm, mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you look good. So, yeah, that's, I guess that's a shame. <clears throat> Other yeah. than that, that's pretty much all I should talk this week. <laughs> yeah, <right on. laughs> Marty got a sty eye. Well, uh, on our website this week, we got the Where's Wally video. Michael forgot his Where's Wally uniform, so we had to give him a Where's Wally shirt. It was pretty fun. And I got a little prank. <laughs> it shocked me into vomiting. Mm. A lot of pain. You don't even know it. You wouldn't have seen it. Because okay. you, you wouldn't have seen it because you don't you don't watch our website videos. And you don't even watch our Facebook videos. I do I, watch your oh. Facebook videos. I don't see any comments from you, Matt. I, it's all only fully actual, he replies on. <laughs> I do. I do. I, I want to see like three comments starting next time. I All right, see so in every single Marty and Michael video, you want three comments. And a yeah. great, and in great comments. detail. Yeah, because if you just put an emoji, that doesn't count as a comment. I'm oh, talking even four, in the algorithm. five, six sentences, cunt. What, emojis don't count in the algorithm? In the algorithm, it does not count. How does that work? I don't know. So I no, got inside it, scoop from Jamie Zoo. Facebook wants to encourage the conversation. Do you understand? They don't want a smiley face, you fucking pig. They <laughs> want a fucking full sentences. They yeah, want a so, full sentences. Yeah, I want detailed shit. Which oh, I have heard. Is it more than four words? I have heard something. Not like really exact numbers anymore, but Sorry. I'm gonna say that yeah, four words it is. It's a bit out of pocket. I, know, I would say yeah, fourteen. It's out of pocket. What? Fourteen uh, words. Yeah, I want like a paragraph. Comments. Something. Yes, yeah, in know. great detail. Three of them. Yeah, three. Three 14 word comments. Yeah, about the video, about did you, how good it was. Did oh. you, Matt, did you see, have you been shown what they did to my car? Oh. No, but I saw your car all out there. No, the coin car. No, I'm talking. No, no, no. The other car. Yeah, Do you know what's happened yet? I have no idea what's happened. <laughs> they took the floor and the doors off and the windows out. We turned it. It looks exactly like the Fred Flintstones uh, car. cartoon car. Yeah. And that's so what we did. We cut the, the top little fucking ringworms off the front. So it sort of folds over like it does in the cartoon. It's got no floors. All the doors are off for some reason. I think Scott helped. Scott, thank you. McChrystal Very good. Motors. McChrystal. He knows a lot about cars. If you ever want to buy a car, McChrystal Motors. And he's yeah. really good looking. Oh, yeah. He's oh, very well, attractive. Damn, baby. <laughs> and yeah, he did it in like two and a half hours. Done. Thank really? you, Scott. Yeah. Thank you. So now, yeah, it's like we had to drive it from mine to Marty's. Highly illegal. Yeah, I, that's not roadworthy now. Well, so that's just sitting out the front with no, no doors. Just on put it. it in the garage because it was raining last night. And fucking thing get flooded. What are we gonna like? <laughs> is that just, that's it? Do you have to get a new car now? I, I, oh, you I, can't I, I, drive. I, I, I like it. I reckon we could fix it. We could put some doors on. I think we go on a road trip and see how long it takes to get arrested. Now there's a video dressed baby. as the Flintstones. Yeah, and be like, what? When the cops oh. pull us over, we'll be like, oh, sorry, we've we've we've, we've got a time machine. We've we've come from the past. And all these rules now, man. Yeah, that's a great <laughs> idea. They might buy it because we've got the outfits. Or we could have a oh, head yeah. on with a family. Someone shot. Is it Boz? Or oh. is it our feet? Yeah, I think it's Boz. Oh. And that's pretty much uh, everything. Eh? We filmed, you might be wondering why we're um, dressed like this today. We filmed a Civil War video with a potato gun, but the potato gun uh, broke halfway through, so we need to finish it. Next week, and that all is the uh, in my uh.
A failed day. Fuck it. It happens a little bit. So we got to redo it. You know how scary it is anticipating getting hit with a fucking spud Do gun? you have I any idea do how loud that is, you fucking cunt? <laughs> They're illegal firearms. It's louder than a car horn, okay? Yeah. It's like double that. Where did you film it? At Greg's property without his permission. Yeah, we just... <laughs> you just showed up there. We yeah. said, we said we're coming soon. Tell oh. your family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we just leave him abusive voicemails. <laughs> Speaking oh. of abusive voicemails, this podcast is proudly sponsored by our friends at Manscaped. They're, they've agreed to stay on for another season, everybody. Holy shit. Mm. Man, if you seriously, we support Manscaped, so we'd appreciate it if you also support a Manscaped by using our discount code FULLYACTUAL20, what right? 20 because it takes for the 20 percent oh i get it that yep. you get off yep just by using that discount code if you Why need not? a new shaver or like they got perfumes and shit they're sending us another package with some shit in it we can show you guys soon i, I gotta this, admit they it's it's really doing wonders i'm not trying to sell it i literally if it's time do you know what i've been using a lot lately of theirs what the what? nose fucking thing i you got, shove yeah. it up your fucking nose oh yeah dude it's it's a miracle. Cause it's so I, easy. It doesn't hurt at all. My, my nose hairs were getting real fucking long, man. They're yeah. like out here. Well, They're starting to mix with me mustache. My girlfriend's been using it for my ear hairs. Yeah. She's been fixing. Yeah. Yeah. We get like ear hairs too. like on the yeah. outside, just one pop up. White every ones. I get yeah. white. Yeah, I had the barber the other day. Fully fucking take my ear hairs down a notch, gun. Actually, <laughs> I have. I've lost the charges for these things, but since we've been sent so many. I just use a new one each time. Yeah, more. Send us more. Anyway, manscaped.com for all of your male grooming products. They're seriously very good, guys. Mm. Mm, <laughs> and good. little hot tip, we might be getting another sponsor on the podcast. Fuck Lele Maila. Keep you posted. And of course, the other sponsor is the University of Markle, our subscription website, where we post a weekly video every week that's Far too fucked for social media. There are some works of art on there now. All right, there's over 200 videos that you haven't seen yet. Isn't All that new right? People, yeah. It's fucking nuts, man. How good those videos are. I wish that we only had to make website videos. Oh, are there many? 200. 200 that you haven't seen. And they're like, <laughs> we put our heart and soul into the video. He was hospital. We bleed, piss, eat shit. Yeah, it's put, like, come scat on, scat porn. Fuck. It is scat porn. We do Some scat porn. Some episodes of scat porn. The others are just incredibly dangerous. And we don't know. Nail gun? Yeah, we shot each other with one. Yeah, fuck. That was another hospital another trip. Hospital trip. And I've that's been in hospital there. two times in the last five months, Matt. And we can't, weren't there. We can't post to social media because Facebook says, no, don't do that. If we post to social media with nail gun wounds, yeah. he had his muscle stuck to his bone with a nail through the leg. Okay. And, and my bum cheek went in the bum cheek. I had oh. to get tetanus shot. But anyway, those anyway. are our sponsors. And that's why we're here. Did um, anybody watch the Super Bowl on the weekend? Has anyone yeah, watched that yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah, we watched I had it playing in the background on Monday as we were. We've got a lot of American fans. I'm sure they did. Um, look, we, we did watch and um, I was hoping that the um, Bengals would win because that would mean that the Simpsons had predicted another uh, correct oh, thing. Oh, really? Mm. They haven't won before, have they? No, it's never ever. Further prove that we're in a simulation. That was so close. I don't I'm pretty know about sure the LA simulation though because asteroids come and destroy shit. Yeah, of course. They're simulated to do that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Elon Sometimes you're, I feel like there's We are a more likely in a simulation than not. Yeah, that's with what we know now. We might f know in 100 years, be like, oh, fuck, what we were saying 100 years ago is complete bullshit. Because 100 years ago, they were saying that fucking God is real, cunt. And that the f Earth is flat. 100 years from now, we'll be having our own simulations. In the movie Back to the Future, we're already past a time where they had flying cars in space. Thank you. Yeah, well, that, that solves a lot. I feel like I shouldn't have said that. Sorry. <laughs> that was cute. I wish I could feel you uh, up a bit right now. Yeah, you're not very cool. Marty's calm scared because uh, Marty can. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit peckish, eh, can't. <laughs> 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 On this day. Yes. <sighs> <sighs> it's so fucking hot in here, by the way. Yeah, it's oh. a sweltering heat that I've never felt before. This is stupid. We're three grown men sitting in chairs dressed as old 
persons Colonial man. talking to three cameras. Hang on, I'm not dressed as an old person. Yes, you are. Yes. You look oh. you're dressed as an 80 year old pensioner. Oh. Yeah, my granddad's pretty hip. Yeah, okay. I on this hair. day. On this day in 1950, Marilyn Monroe did a movie with half a dead baby hanging out of her. It slung from side to side as she walked, and whenever anyone mentioned it, she would tell them that it's rude to stare, and she would grind her teeth so forcefully that her teeth would crack. She wrote a book called I Had a Baby Hanging Out of Me for a Few Weeks, but it didn't sell any copies. I still would, though, and I'm Matt Brown. (laughs) <laughs> Matt Brown How did she die? I think from that baby infection Well like a, What a failed pregnancy You're gonna love it birth. Michael Well it was sort of half successful Her real death is like conspiracy Because she was involved with the Kennedys Ooh. Yeah, she was Look ri- into it Have a Google You're Ripped fun. in half Take a break from the normal conspiratorial things Oh mate there's, Have a look down that there's one There's some fucking ones going on right now There's some true blues eh Anyway um, fucking what? What's what's next? We got fucking um Matt's little black book. Oh well, that was a great segue, wasn't it? All right. Um, let me just uh, uh flip to the correct page. <laughs> that was nice. Oh, Ooh. wait! Destroy it. You know how long it took mm, me to write all that. I'm not destroying it. This is how you turn pages in the Matt. Brown Black Diary book. Wait, should I get high for this? Yeah, go on, have a suckle if you're feeling. Should a we just tense. go bong break now? Bong break now. Bong break. Let us enjoy our time while we still have it. Hmm. Oh. Mm. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh mm. Marty! Mm. Don't make me sad. Mm. Yeah, it's We've so got dark. plenty. I, ho- I hope that I live to be forty. <laughs> oh, oh dude. fuck off! That's like we're getting to at least sixty. If I get to sixty, I'll be having a few beers. I'll tell you that much, can't? <laughs> sixty is oh, well, fuck it. We're going seventy. Now. We're going solo, baby. We're going seventy. Okay. <sighs> All right, right. now read me. Read you a story from this book of fucks. Let me wet my whistle here. (laughs) Oh, no. Ah, 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 ah. The swan was raped. Ah. All right, right. here we go. Matt's little black book had number 12. We're not going in order? Just picking them out where you want. Just pick them out randomly, my fella Kleiner. Number 12. I was fishing for sluts in an old pub on the outskirts of Brisbane. It was 2.30 a.m., which is prime time, and I saw a middle-aged overweight woman playing pokies while clutching three pints of beer in one hand. She looked about seven months pregnant. She was drunkenly swaying side to side, mumbling threats at the pokie machine. My neck stiffened and my toes curled so far back that I heard the bones break. I floated over to this beautiful beast and rested my hand on her hot, clammy shoulder. You having a win? I whispered. (laughs) She turned and squinted at me, struggling to keep me in focus. Nah. She turned back to the machine and kept gambling. I dove my hand into my pocket and started fumbling with some coins I had in there. The sound of the jangling coins caught her attention and she looked down at my pocket. You could have couple of spares, or what? I'll have the win with you get free spins, can A smile crept onto my face, and I strategically pulled out a pack of cigarettes and a handful of coins. Here, have four dollars. I'm going to get a drink. Would you like one? I probably shouldn't, because of the baby, but fuck it. Yes, colour I'm by. Is this really the last one now? I left the cigarettes next to the her pokey machine and urgently returned with the drinks. I had already, she had already lost the four dollars I gave her and was rubbing her pregnant belly. Can we quit? The baby's kicking. Must be sort of the run I can. <laughs> I ran over, handed her her drink, and felt her sticky belly, and the baby was indeed kicking. We shared a special moment, and she noticed the cigarettes out of the corner of her eye. Can I have a smoke or walk Success. She had taken my bait like a good little fish. 
Yes, let's go and have a smoke. I had strategically parked my car right next to the smoker's area, and after watching her have a smoke and drink both of our drinks, I let her know that it's after 3am and that we can't get any more drinks. I'm sober and my car is just there. Why don't we go back to mine and have a few more drinks and smokes together? She looked me up and down. You're all right then, but only two more because of me, baby. <laughs> I'm a responsible mother. I had reeled her in. Now all that was left was to do and go home and enjoy my meal. She vomited multiple times in the car ride home, but I did not mind. I sped home and took my beast inside. I made her a rumbo as soon as we got inside and sat her on my couch. She knew what I wanted and opened her legs. She was wearing a denim skirt and the smell that greeted me was something from the deepest pits of hell. I lunged at her groin and enjoyed myself a late night meal, tonguing at her golf ball sized clit. Fuck yeah! She writhed with pleasure, <laughs> sipping her rumbo throughout. I extracted my tongue from her and plunged my stiff steak deep into her. I thrust it forwards and my eyes bulged out of my head. I was experiencing true happiness. I flipped her over and started attacking her ass. A fecal fountain squirted out around my little brown. My mind, body and spirit all aligned and I came with such force that she started lactating sperm from her tits. One of the benefits of having pregnant women is there is no need for protection. The moment I had had her, I booked her an Uber. I led her to my front door and she turned to say goodbye. Call me Samson, this is fucking good, eh? No fucking way. I slammed the door in her face and went to wash my lounge room and body. I was a brave knight and I had truly slayed a dragon this evening. <laughs> What the fuck just happened? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no, there's another, another story from Matt's little brown book of haves. <laughs> oh, it's so embarrassing. Wow. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't have written that one in there, mate. <laughs> oh. Because that ain't something to be proud of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope her baby is fine. <laughs> it doesn't surely, sound like it has a good start to life. It's surely got some issues. Oh, Do you know what I'm saying, Matt? <laughs> yeah. That's oh, not man. okay, okay? Oh. Anyways, only you have number 12. I'm sure you were very young at that stage still. That's what I like to tell myself. That All right, a good entry. <clears throat> next, um, our next segment is, of course, um, the comment of the week, everybody. Oh, shit. And we've gone through, and boy, are there some fucking comments, which reminds me, guys, if you want to support the podcast, leave a comment, comment whatever you want. Just comment the word comment if you can't think of a comment. Like the video, subscribe to the video, show it to your friends and family, and play it on, play it on the TV in the background and just have it on and just uh, you don't need to do anything other than that man that's it <laughs> yeah look, look at me could put we got playing dress ups for you yeah. oh look at us oh we dance for you oh please please <laughs> Anyway, from the comments last week um, we've gone through and we've selected uh, our favorite comment and um, we oh, will man. we will reveal that to you now. I am fucking <laughs> ripped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Comment of the wig. Who has that? I've got two. Did you go through them, actually? Look, because I went through them. We go through them. every actually, fucking comment, baby. I found it I tough really to... Like. If you want to talk to us, leave a comment because we read them. We do. Seriously, I love reading podcast comments. As soon as the video comes out, Shit. I start scrolling with a big smile on my face and go through every single one. And sometimes they hurt my feelings. I think your one is the one that I really enjoyed as well. Yeah, season four skin. That got the highest amount of likes. Yeah. Well, I liked the question that he asked as well. The one about me dying. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've got that question. <laughs> it was actually a separate comment, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, so all right, well let's let's give it to Donut Films this week. All so, right. So Donut Films, well done. He he's the he's the one responsible for the Is he the the I don't know. It, sometimes I think is he the one that sends us all those fucking letters? No. Yeah, Donut I'm pretty sure he's the one who sends us Wii and teeth and shit. Yeah, We've he, got his Wii over there. 
He sent us. <laughs> <laughs> Don't point near me, Khan. <laughs> yeah, there's piss up here that's his. So he's here. It's over here. He's From here in a way. Yeah, that's we around. should have that piss. Yeah, here. we'll get that piss up in the um. Yeah, we'll put that piss here because that's that's like thank you, honestly. And teeth, I think he sent. Oh no, was that Jono? I'll find it. Anyway, he sent he sent himself, and that's and that's all we ask is that you send yourself parts of yourself. So for everyone, his comment was season four skin, and that received the most likes as well. We enjoyed it because it's uh it is it's true. It's it's season four, and it's also a joke because uh, foreskin, which only two out of the three of us have. Comment who you think doesn't have foreskin. Oh yeah, that's a very good. Comment. Idea. That's a good engagement thing. Yeah. Who do you think has their foreskin and who do you think doesn't? We'll reveal it next week. Yeah. Two isn't people it, do. One isn't person that doesn't. exciting? Matt's is gone. Matt doesn't have his. <laughs> Matt's foreskin has been cut off. Show him. Oh, that would have been good. Show him. Yeah, I know. It would have been great. I had to ruin it. Yeah. It's like a birthday cake. Oh, yeah. You so wanted like, some before it was your birthday. Yeah, I want to have a taste of it. I feel like everyone would have got excited <laughs> trying to have pick a foreskin. Who's, who's Mine's like, it. yeah, mine, I don't have much of a foreskin. I Mine make was, up for yours. I've been attacked. Yeah, Michael has the most foreskin out of m- all of us. Out of well, out of probably any guy I've ever seen. It 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 goes out. It wraps over his knob and then extends like a long tube. <laughs> <laughs> So he has to when he tries to pull his foreskin back, it's like pulling a rope in, cunt. Hey, all bunched here. You stuck. It fucks with his piss stream sometimes. Too. Anyway, what were we gonna do with the comment of the week? So we're gonna we're gonna write it down. Donut films. Um, well, yeah, we're, we're trying to figure out and whether put we're it gonna behind and us. put it behind oh, us. <laughs> we put your comment of week behind us. But so, I don't know if that's gonna happen. Nah, it will yeah, happen. Yeah, we've got to do it. I'll we've got to do it. I'll do it because I'm trustworthy. All right, Matt, you are you are responsible for the comment of the week. And board. you guys are busy. So yeah, I'll get a board and we'll have it here and, and when it comes out, we'll bring it out. To All right, so time. Donut Films, you're, that's the first comment going on the board. That's a special achievement, baby, first comment. Well and done. it doesn't necessarily, just to be clear, need to be the most likes comment. It's just the comment that we us three like the most out of all of the comments the questions is a completely separate thing if you want us to ask you questions we go off the likes on the questions not off the as the comment of the week Ooh, actually yeah that makes well, sense sometimes i see good questions that don't get likes. there you go matt so, brown is is yeah. is admitting to being them. corrupt he's corrupt he's defying the system sorry anyway questions all right uh, first question is from Damon Rice. This is our first question of the entire season. May I remind you that? Holy shit. Yeah. So pay attention. Okay. I'll try. This is so hard. Actually, Actually first question, question is from, from Adam Goff. Goff? Goff. Goff. Um, uh, boys, was it me or did Jackass rob your spin and skull idea for their new movie? Yeah. I, I didn't want to say anything to him during the interview, but in my head I was thinking, you fucking cunt. <laughs> You stole a fucking idea! I didn't care us! What did he? Yeah, he fully did. So mm. the big spin at yeah, the end. At the end. Sculling. That's what you guys did on we the We did that playground. first. Really? We did that with mandarins and the milk skull. I think oh, you've done wow. it twice. We skull milk, we spin, while that shit is being thrown at us, cunt. We Same fully shit. did that. We did like a fucking trailer park trash version of that video. Yeah, <laughs> that's did. on YouTube. Cunt. Park. We've done t- we've done that two times. That's on YouTube. If you want to see us do it first cunt. again, holy shit, we <laughs> fully did do it first, Matt. Should you do it again, Max? Have you seen it? Yeah, actually, I have seen that one. I was no. That was a I've painful fucking day. That that hurt beyond measure, baby. The I kidney. was down on my knees and I didn't want to get up. Oh. Next, Next question, question is from, from Damon, Damon Wright. Um, is Choir ever going to make an, a, a, an appearance on the show? Choir is my mother. Um, look, I don't know. We can reach out to her. Matt, are you comfortable with that? No, I'm not into it. And um, well, yeah, it's going to take it's, a lot of Matt's convincing. Um, I love look, the, the it, picture on Instagram. So yeah, funny. there's, a, in there's a... Well, we found the whole Brown family on Instagram um, and very grateful that they made Instagram accounts because now we can contact them whenever we want. But question, who knows? Question might make an appearance because question, like we, 
we just talk to Quest every now and then. Like he'll message us, Why be like, oh, great, great video, boys. Because he's fucking subscribed to the website. He lended me his raincoat twice. And it wasn't even raining that day. Bosley? Bosley's, Next question. Bosley's trying to join in on the conversation. Yeah. Sorry, mate. Good boy. Has a lot to say about Question. Bosley's doing a much better, by the way. He's, um, his lump turns out it was um, cancerous, but it's a very low grade cancer. So there's a very low chance that it will spread anywhere. And if it does return, it'll probably come back in the same spot. So it's good and bad news. It's a bit of B, a bit of bay. And my blood pressure is, um, you know, I've stopped all weed, all drinking, and uh, but, uh, we see what happens. I've got a cardiologist appointment next Monday. And um, I'll maybe try to get to under control. Huh? We'll see what ha- happens. <laughs> All right, next question is from Donut Films. <laughs> what was that? Who is that accent? I think that was fine. That was a f- related to the, the fines? Yeah, that was a fine for sure. <laughs> <laughs> next question is from Donut Films. What do you guys think Matthew Brown will die from? Infections? I think maybe in <laughs> great fall from like a cliff. Oh. <laughs> I think oh, I think what kind I, of infection? Like you go on you go blood, to the Grand Canyon. Blood infections. What? A Grand the Grand Canyon and you just have an accident. All right, so I'm not going to Grand Canyon. <laughs> well, the blood infections will still get in. Maybe I reckon What kind that, of blood infection? Oh, I don't Fuck. know. Maybe from interacting dirty uh wallowing in piss and shit. You have a cut blood infection. Yeah. <laughs> you happen all the time, man. You are happening all yeah. the time. Remember? Yeah, I've actually done that. I don't know if I really like that question. That is a great question. And how how would we all die? Mm. I'm going to predict a uh, massive heart attack yeah, for I me. You're going to say. And you can play this at my funeral. Dude, this is fucked. You can't I say hate that. Alice. But I guess this is And how will you, and how will you die? I reckon <laughs> he'll drown in his own piss. <laughs> oh. What do you reckon? Hmm. Maybe you- like a motorbike accident. Oh. I don't want to think about that. Yeah, a sudden motorbike accident. <laughs> <laughs> no, my, no, I disagree. I think Michael, out of everyone, he'll be right there till the end. He'll die peacefully in his he'll sleep. He'll be there till the end of days. <laughs> the uh, yeah. He'll, he'll be just a change old form. Man. He doesn't die. He changed form to snake egg. <laughs> <laughs> and hatches when conditions are perfect. <laughs> in a thousand years. <laughs> Oh, we're never going to get through the fucking questions. Oh, oh fuck. Okay. Asteroid. Uh, yeah, an asteroid for sure. Oh, shit. That reminds me. Next anyway. question is from Swamp Box 69 Are you boys planning on having any special guests this season? Um, You know what? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I reckon Willem. Yeah, we'll get Willem on. Yeah, fucking. Um, Defoe. Yeah, we haven't thought about guests, but we will do that. We will do that for you guys. Now we have three mics. Matt can just sit on the ground. Four. Shane Four. Warren messaged. Did he? No. Oh. He has messaged before, though. Oh, Did fuck. And um, we've got four mics, so we can set it up for a four. Skin. Yeah. All right, well, I'll tweet that now. Roger. I'm just going to tweet about our um, four mics. We're on Twitter, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, wow. How right. many now? Um, we, we have... Verified? Nah, four microphones. All right, next question is from Fly By Night. Um, question for the about? podcast. What are your fetishes? Like sexual fetishes? I'm going to go with anything you want. Sexual or maybe just into food or something. Whatever. Well, what do you want to do, Matt? I know what you want to talk I about. I want to hear the sexual ones for sure. Mm, Matt Brown. Mm? Favorite fetish. Mm. I'll give an honest answer. Oh. <laughs> Actually, no. Come on, no, Brown Town. No, I thought about it. I'm done. No. I'll go back scratches. <laughs> Michael's <laughs> nice what, little little ones. Michael's or very fetish. blood blistering ones. Like even when you get a massage, it's better to get a back scratch over massage. Oh, what massage are you getting? I hate massages. Like they dig into the muscles. It's yeah. shit. Okay. The scratches. Mm. Um. Look. Um. 
sure if I have a fetish. Hey, I am. Um, I like watching animals burn. The cows. <laughs> of course. <laughs> the fucking cows for you. Yeah. Well, yeah, I do love. You don't even heifer. fuck them anymore. I don't have time to fuck the cows, baby. But if they're around. Like Greg's cows today? <laughs> yeah, dude. Five cows yeah. came running up to us. They ran over a river just to see us. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh, I patted one. Yeah, Michael got You right went way too account. far. Yeah, I, I aimed the potato gun at it, trying to fucking. I nah. tried to threaten it to fuck him. <sighs> anyway, what's your fetish? No. No. Oh, yeah. Matt likes when they say no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, next question is from Peter Hunt. Um, can I buy the black book? It's, it's Matt Brown's to sell. What do you think? I'll think about it. How much would you be willing to pay? Comment how much you would be willing to pay for the brown book. Mm, All maybe right? to the highest bidder. It I'll is give it up. full, full of these entries. Holy fuck. You could sell it. Talk into your microphone, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so you do. Have you got holes in your mouth? Teeth? Mm. You got holes in your teeth? Am I able to drink that I water? I burnt the top of my gum with the ringworm. Do you still have herps? No. The no, whole sore was healed. He, he ate the scab off, off his mouth. I want to drink some of that it Sustained water. me to keep living. Um, all right. How many right. more questions? We'll go oh, one more. Oh, man. You, you guys talk so much. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never get through a question. <laughs> all right. We're sorry. Oh, the next one's... What was the question? Uh, next oh, question is from, from Rebskel. Rebskel. To Mr. Brown, I'm going to La Paz, Bolivia this June. What was the name of the cocaine bar you went to? I just want to see it from the outside. I'm not planning to go inside, so don't think that about me. <laughs> You're clearly going to go inside. Yeah, 100%. Um, it was uh, route, uh, route 36, I think, or Route 26, Route 36, um, was the cocaine bar that I went to. And just to. to be clear, you did cocaine? Yeah, that was my first time. Mark, Matt Brown has done cocaine, everyone. And actually, Reb Skell, here's one for you. If you go into that into that bar where you That's illegal, can, man. On the I wall. I think it is. Oh. Is it? No. Oh yeah, over there it is. Yeah. Okay. That, that is, it's it's illegal the, in most countries, especially here, Matt Brown. And on the done wall. It. On the wall in the cocaine bar, you can go in there. There's flags of the countries all over the wall. Now, if you look hard enough, um, you'll find the Australian boxing kangaroo um flag. And, and that's where you did it. And you'll see um, Matt Brown, me yeah. and Aaron's names on that flag. Wow. They will give you texts if they're still cool. They'll give you texts, and you can write on the walls. And yeah, you can. This um, was like, they wrote their names. Yeah, you this can. This was wrote, like thirty years ago, though, so they might have ripped the flags down. Yeah, it could I be. I'm, this was in like there. the seventies yeah. or something, right? I've also got Matt Brown was here and the date, so on the wall somewhere. So if you can find that, you can put your name next to mine. Take a photo and send it to me, and that'll be amazing. All right, that is the questions. If you want to answer your questions, don't be scared, okay? Come forwards. Come to Michael's house. Come over here and lay it, lay down and we ask your questions, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down while you listen. With huh? Bosley? Lay down while you listen to the podcast, man. Um, There are a lot of good questions, Um. Thank you. There. there was like forty, and look, we will do. Yeah. We will start answering the questions via commenting the ones that we don't answer live. <laughs> How's that? Yeah. Well, I'll try and um, I'll try and slide some of those in. Thanks. In, in our upcoming episodes. Oh fuck. Um. All right, Michael's fucking Bible. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Chapter six, verse twelve, from the book of When There. When is just now in the future. <laughs> was is just now back then. When and was might seem like future and past, but there is only ever now. And no now is the same. Now back then is now gone and replaced with a now now, which is also now gone. <laughs> so do not think of now as right now because the now you're thinking of is already a was. It's best not to think at all and let now happen continuously until your heart stops. Heaps of asteroid belts too. <laughs> it's true. Don't you think, Matt? Matt, surely. Surely, Matt. I saw a rat. Yeah, there's heaps here. Really? I saw a yeah. rat running along the post they out there. They can climb up to the roof. I, can, I still see it. 
I think I still see it. Bullshit. Yeah, under the beam. Yep, <gasps> under the beam. I Jeez. see it too. There's two. Yeah, there's two rats. I'm gonna oh see if I can get some God. footage of this. See if I can get a oh. bit of two rats. There's three. Is there? Three. Yeah, look, there's three. Oh, there is two. There's a whole family oh of rats. Oh my God. There's a whole family of rats here, baby. It's, uh, it's us in rat form. Yes. Yeah. They come to enjoy the podcast, huh? Oh my God. We have a big rat demographic. <laughs> it's fully moving. Can you see? Yeah, yeah. I see it's, it's cleaning itself. Your house is fucked. It's yeah. full of vermin. Full of Actually, vermin. Actually, no, I don't mind them. We should let Bosley they in there. They climb the curtains and he'll, shit. He'll kill them like that. Would you ever have a pet rat? You know, you can nah, get pet ones. Nah, they don't do it for That's me. That's Connor. Connor yeah, Connor has, Connor's had pet rats, yeah. but but it's it's like they're they're quite social creatures. I used to see a girl who had pet rats, and I found them to be the what did coolest you do to things. her? Look at them moving Nothing. around. Look at that. See that moving around, having a little family talk, aren't they? Very cute, very cute. You should yeah. put some food out for them. Holy shit! There's like four of them. That's <laughs> <up>. <laughs> it's more and more and more. They're there's, all appearing. There's more and more and more rats coming. Mate, they're getting what close. What the fuck is going on? Look at them all. Oh my Look, God, they're scattering. Dude, there oh are a God, lot of rats. Oh my God. There's like oh. 15 of them. Dude, that is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> like there was like 15, 15 rats. rats. <laughs> <laughs> they all saw Michael and ran. Holy fuck, that's a lot of rats. Oh my man. God, another. <laughs> what do we do? That's like too many. Like, I only seen one. Man, <laughs> They're gonna be chewing on the cord soon. That's not nice to see in your oh, own I'll home. I'll be terrifying no. out there. Imagine sleeping with all them running around. I don't think they can get I in. I hear here. them in the roof heaps. I was just hoping that there wasn't that many. That was really, <laughs> that was confronting. That sucks. Yeah, that's quite an infestation. Oh my god! <laughs> I oh wish no. people could see what we just saw. I know that was really it was like. like <laughs> They all just bailed. Maybe it's the rats from Adele's jaw. <laughs> anyway. oh, oh, shit. Anyway, on with the podcast. Take our word for it there. I'm picture seeing 15 rats. Scurrying. That's what we saw. Like the top beam. Mm. Are they? Yeah, anyway. All right, next segment is... Um, <laughs> that <laughs> sucks, dude. <laughs> like, that's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, next segment, up. right? Next segment is the Chama no Tiberish. The Chama no Tiberish. Oh, uh-huh. yeah. Uh-huh. All right, boys. This is the German or gibberish. You must guess if it's German or gibberish. If you are correct and it is German, you can have a shot at guessing what it means. Guessing what it means. Guessing what it means. The loser will be punished. Yeah, we got to change the punishment up. Someone suggested that instead of slapping us with the hand, you slap us with the um, wooden spoon. All right. That would hurt a lot. Do you even have a wooden spoon? Yeah, he does from past hits. Don't disturb the rats. German och gibberish. German och gibberish. This is offensive to my homeland. I have a sty eye. <laughs> oh, offensive to my homeland. Sty oh. eye. <laughs> All right, phrase number one. Flatter blug beim Stauf. Flatter blug beim Stauf. German or gibberish? Michael? It's German. <laughs> I'm going to say it's not German. Okay, we have German, not German. It is not German. Oh. Fucking racist cunt. <laughs> <laughs> what, just because it sounds similar, it's German? Huh? That definitely yeah. sounded like German. It's like- That's definitely yeah, German. Yeah, see, that sounded more German the second time. Sorry. Sorry. All right, Matt's up 1-0. Okay. Second one. Katzen anschreien! Katzen anschreien! No, that's Irish. That's not German. <laughs> that's Irish. Yeah, the end. You can hear it. All right, we got one Irish. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's just not German. Can I hear it again, please? Katzen anschreien! I'm going to go, it's German. Okay. I'll be right here. It is German. Oh, what? <laughs> Fuck. You're Matt, just, what, would you are just using Irish yeah. accent. Then? Matt, would you like to take a stab at what it means? No. Nah. It means scream at cats. <laughs> of course it does. Oh, of course yeah. it does. Scream at cats. Yeah. Yeah. yeah of course it does. Yeah. Of course it does. Yeah. All right. Third one. Matt's up 2 nil, baby. 
Okay. <laughs> How many more? Three. Three. But you can get double points if you guess what it means. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, baby. That's never happening. Yeah, it's never happening at all. All right. Here we go. Third one. Blinder Affen verbrennen schnell. <laughs> no way. That's just silly. <laughs> yeah. That is nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> that can't it's be just German. silly. That's not allowed. Yeah, I'm gonna go not German. Both of you not German? That is German. <laughs> oh <laughs> bullshit. Blinde Affen verbrennen schnell. <laughs> the ending is just screaming for like help. Alright, so it's still 2 0 to Matt. Would you both like to care to guess what that means? Yeah, it's like help me. I'm no. gonna I'm gonna say it's um let me out of the bathroom. No, oh, close. Oh. Very close, really? Matt. Yep. Actually, very close. What is it? Oh. I only get one guess, mate. Yeah. Basement. One guess. Okay. It means uh, blind monkeys burn quickly. That was very close. <laughs> Fuck, that's hard. <laughs> <laughs> you changed the tone of it. That's why. You're being good disguise. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> Oh. 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 Fourth. Ooh. <coughs> Plutsch. <laughs> Plutsch. I'll have to go first, don't it's, I? Um Yeah. Yeah, you not, do. It's not German. Yeah, you're gonna win. He's described he's like he's like this. Dis- no. Disguised it with like a- it sounds like you're he's- mumbling at the end. But it is a bit Irish, but you've disguised it with a German way. It sounds like a drunk German. Where are you getting this Irish from? <laughs> I can hear it in it. Go again. So you're Rückstrahl Brenchen Plutsch! I'm it saying sounds no. Irish. No? I'm gonna say it's definitely not German, but you've disguised it with the tone of German. It is not German. See? So three I'm one. getting better. Three one. All right, last one. Michael, you need to get this right and guess what it means. <laughs> so I'm five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. You are. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> oh, yeah. That's the only way you can win is get it right. And, and that's only if it points. is German. If it's not German, there's obviously you can't guess what it means because yeah. it has no meaning. understand that. So you better pray to the gods right now. Go on. Okay. Please help me. <laughs> <laughs> Please help go. me. I see a rat. Oh, there it goes. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh, no. All right, here we go. Schubse meine Schwester! Schubse meine Schwester! He's disguising it again. It's not German. Oh, I was going to pick first, but I'm going to say it is German. Okay. I can get a comeback and I have to guess what it means. Oh, if it isn't German, <laughs> there is no way. It's just gibberish. Gla. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's gla. So, <laughs> so you saying that it's not German rules you out. So you may as well say it is. Oh, German. it's yeah. German, but it won't be. I reckon it is. You have to say it's not so they have a chance. It is German. So 4 2. Matt, you get first guess at what it means. Can I have it? Schubse, meine Schwester. Is that how you would? Can you say it in a way that you'd actually say it, like in a tone that you'd say it instead of screaming it? Do you have any idea how racist <laughs> you're being right now? <laughs> how so racist? You are being such you use, an ignorant pig. I want you to use it in a sentence. I am, I am, using it how I would speak to my mother calmly. Ember. I am. Being sensual. M. Is that a word? <laughs> Is that a bit German coming out there? Schubser meine Schwester. That's the best I can do, and that is a German whisper. <laughs> is that a whisper? I'm going to go. I reckon you made this one up on the spot. Oh. And I say, there's rats in my kitchen. Well, I'm going to say, there's rats no, in the pool that's, room. That's wrong. In the pool table room. And no, you're also wrong. It's um, push my sister. And it is German. Yeah. Wow. So four right, two right. I lose. And now for the punishment, everyone. We get to see Michael's ass get walloped by ass. this. Or just thigh. Yeah, let's go thigh. All right. Well, arm. You, can, All right. You, you don't have to hold back. But I, I know. Don't hit the kneecap. Yeah, hit the, the meaty bit. Watch out for the microphone, mate. 
Oh no. On you. <laughs> oh, Thor. <laughs> the wrath of the National German Party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, dude, it's on fire. <laughs> the Germans, we celebrate oh. in his pain, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that would hurt a lot. I would have taken it on the skin. Ow. I don't think you realize. I can Reddit show you. Me. Ow. And that is better. the German with gibberish segment. You are welcome, everyone. Mm. Have a go at home. I hope so, everyone. I hope you had a turn at home. Just comment how many you got right. Just comment, I got two right out of the German segment. Fuck. And send your clips of the how wooden you spoon hits. hits. Send us your yeah. pubic hair, baby. Our PO box is PO box 256 Tegum 44018 Queensland, Australia. Send us your pubic hair, everyone. No. If you got all of them right. If you got all of them right, send us your pubic hair. Why don't we make a sculpture out of people's pubic hair, Matt Brown? We need something solid to put it on. All right, everybody. It's time for... Bachelor Brown! Brown, Brown, mm. Brown, Brown. Bachelor Brown! Brown, 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 Brown. Bachelor Brown! <laughs> brown, Brown, Brown. It's an echo. And this is a segment where you, sweet, sweet ladies... Send in a little DM to our Instagram and your phone number, <sighs> and we read them out and give you a call to see if you're compatible with our brown town. I don't know if I really want to do that. And uh, we'll see if we can do a little bit of a playing uh, setup of the brown town. Huh? It could be mm. beautiful. It could yeah. be. It you could might be, meet your wife. It could be quite a sexual experience, all right? Oh. You, could, you could have your fucking mind blown in your gut. Guts minced up. Yeah, cut out of me and minced up uh, by some serial yeah. killer. All right. Anyway, Maybe. this this is um, a DM from an uh, an actual girl. Someone sent this in. Someone I don't know. Actually, in. it could be a dude. It's got a dude's name. Oh, what's the name? <laughs> the picture is of a girl, though. Yeah, but it does. No, look. I'm gonna say it. it's her name's Nick. <laughs> okay. dude. Could be, yeah. could, it's a no, dude And I see It could be short for Nicole It could be short yeah, for true. Nikki Come on Please pick me to have Bachelor Brown A dream of him bounding backwards into my bedroom That's great That's, That's what you do And then she said My number is I'm in New South Wales But I'd fly up for a date with Mr. Brown I don't know if I want to do that Matt It's fine Alright <sighs> We'll help all right, here we go. This is, um, we'll see if it's a real girl shortly. It's going to be hello, a thing. Hello. Um, hello, is this Nick? <coughs> it is. Oh, Nick, oh, um, we got your DM. Um, I forgot to put my phone on private, so shit. Also. No, I got it. It come through as private. Oh, really? Oh, fuck. I must have not changed it since last week, so that's good. <laughs> anyway, no, um, Nick. Anyway. Does she know who it is? Yeah, yeah of course she know. knows who it is. Of course she knows who it is. I don't need of to say who. I do. Of course Martin. she knows Matt. It's Martin. Not a good start. Absolutely. He's all nervous and fluttery around. Anyway, Nick, um, I saw you, DM. You have to pick your uh, child up. Oh, she can wait. It's all good. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. Oh, she can wait. That's what I thought. So um, we oh. have Matt Brown um, here with you, and uh, we just thought we would um, accommodate this conversation. So um, why don't you start just by telling a little bit about yourself to the Brown? To the Brown. Okay. Well... What can I say? I'm a pretty cool chick. Oh, she cool chica. Get off of me. <laughs> um, I am a little bit older than you guys, though. How old? How old are you, Nick? If you don't mind me I'm asking. I am actually forty-five. Oh, Matt 30, doesn't mind. 46. Matt doesn't mind. Age is Matt just a number. Mind. Age is just a number to Matt. He's had things that were one foot in the grave. <laughs> <laughs> After you can't, uh, your boy's weekend, I'm surprised. <laughs> That's only 10 years older than me. So, so yeah. Matt, why don't you now tell, in turn, tell Nick some of your hobbies and interests? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not, not, I'm not revealing anything. <laughs> Matt, okay. it, seems, it seems like this is not going well for you, Matt. Do you, do you, not, do you not like Nick? Nick has a lovely voice and that's all I know. All right. So, so Matt, would you consider um, adding Nick on Instagram and then DMing her and, and continuing the conversation there? Sure. I think he's already got me on Instagram. Oh! oh! <laughs> 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 
that's the sound of success. Wait, <laughs> on, on the fully actual? Number, if you like. Do we have- <laughs> that was the best thing ever. <laughs> I will I give you her, many people. I will give you her Instagram you, and you, you will get a follow from Matt Brown's personal Instagram <laughs> and you can continue to DM each other there and who knows- <laughs> And who knows? <laughs> this could be the beginning of something oh, amazing, sure. baby. Yeah. I might have to jump on a plane and come and visit Mr. Brown. <laughs> you might have to jump on a plane and jump on a brown. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> All right, Nick, it was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much for doing this. And we'll put you guys, into touch with... This is honestly <laughs> best thing ever, eh? You guys are so awesome. Oh, thank you so you much. Thank you. really made me laugh. I just literally watched the podcast again for the third time. The third oh, time. Wow, that's so good. Oh, that's so nice. Nick, that's beautiful. All right, well... And oh I've God. got a special thing sent in... In the post for you guys. Oh, yes. Yes, we love you guys, man, eh? Thank you. So at least you know she's got an awesome sense of humour. Which is needed. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Definitely. <sighs> All right, Nick. We'll let you go, but thank you very much for chatting to us and thank you it's for... It's been a pleasure, guys. Have Bye, a Nick. Chat, See you chat guys. soon. Bye, Nick. Bye. Bye. See you, Nick. Whoa. <laughs> mama, mama. Mama, mama, mama. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't like that. Dude, you just got a girlfriend. No, I didn't. I just that got is a... working very, very well. <laughs> now, if you would like to compete for, for Brown's affections, oh. don't be scared to DM us a little bit about yourself and your number. Oh, yeah. Make yourself available on Monday afternoons. <laughs> and we'll give you a buzz and you can we can see if Matt Brown and Matt what did you really holy think holy shit I just had an idea what about we get to the point by the end of the season where we've we have three in the actual studio yes yeah I'm not gonna do that <laughs> yeah it's that's a great a idea bachelor show and we'll have them behind a screen and then and then and then they have to make a noise and whichever noise attracts <laughs> the brown the most <laughs> is the one is the one that he goes with <laughs> Success! Oh, oh man, oh I love that segment. That is, oh, yeah. I hope that happens every week. Please, oh. girls, if you're watching. Oh. All right, uh, next fucking segment. That's a rip snortler. Oh. That is an <laughs> absolute rip, rip snortler. snortler. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that I, was very yeah, fun good. for you. <laughs> it's nice to witness love. She was very lovely though. Yeah, you, you you were very, very nervous, nice. which is a good sign. Fucking, I am nervous. Yeah, I got he's some very very nervous. You put me. You've put you on the, on the spectrum. Spot. I wasn't We've expecting. Put him on the spectrum. Well, you kind of lied me. to me what the what we were gonna do, and so I wasn't expecting. Uh, that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and that's good. Okay, you look. We need to take your relationships into our own hands. No, but because look at what you've done after thirty five years. You're sitting there alone in a chair. You need to trust us. That we make you happy, baby, and we find you, Mrs. Brown. Nick, could oh! be, Nick could be her. Nick could be her. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> <No>. <laughs> See, Do all right. See? I reckon, yeah, we'll definitely get more. So make sure you send it through. Oh, anyway, that was fucking great. All <laughs> right, um, moving right along. Um, yeah, relationship, let's move along. <laughs> the relationship advice, which. Matt oh, is fuck. very. Yeah. We'll be able to give. Soon. Yeah, because I'm fucking nailing dates. Is that left or on Santa count? Every Monday. <laughs> I'll give you her Instagram now, so we don't forget, Matt. Do you want to add her? Yeah, kind of cut Shit. her um, tag because she might not. Yeah, she might have an abusive ex boyfriend who um, who will hunt you down and cut you into little slithers with a potato peeler. Oh. Cut all the way through your guts. It's how happened. You, that's how I die. It's <laughs> Do happened, you reckon man. you could eat someone? Yeah, baby. Yeah, it's been done. No, no, like yourself. Me? If there was human flesh put in front of you, would you eat it? I could eat yeah, it. It depends yeah. on the situation. If I'm stuck in the Andes from a plane crash, yeah, if you like put some human people, flesh in front of me right now, I would, no questions asked, I would eat it, some of it. No questions asked, baby. I'm a German. And we eat any meat put in front of meat. You totally would, wouldn't you? I'd have a big old bite of that sandwich. Blutwurst. <laughs> smear some liver on sandwich oh, and put mustard on it. And that is food to me, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh. if I had to, like, 
Okay. Yeah, if I had to, I could. What about the price? If it was here right now, would you? What, the price? Eat human flesh. No. How much would you, you do it for free? I'd do it for free. I'd do it for a laugh, cunt. What about <laughs> you, Matt? I'd no. give something to Boz too, cunt. <laughs> no, I need to be in a desperate situation. Yeah, so not even 100K. <laughs> oh, hang on. Huh. Now we're talking. <laughs> yeah, would you eat an entire body for 100,000? No. A whole, Fuck, a whole body. body. I'll probably end up sick. Yeah, you can do it over th- over two weeks. Maybe I'll take a little chunk. Surely you would do that. Anyone normal person would do that. Eat a whole human body. That's anyway, fucking way too it's much. A, it's a missing person. We need to move on. All right. Relationship advice. Am I reading or you? Because I've got a bunch. All right. Well, let's just let's just do two or three. Okay, okay? I got a good one. We got two or three, and then we'll do the prank. Oh, the PO box, and then prank call, and we're fucking done. Do you want me to go first? Oh, baby, please. Uh, guys, I've seen your posts about relationship advice and fuck me, I need your help. My best mate of countless years has recently come into a cunted relationship with some ginger fuck. He met her at work. She won't let me see me or any of the boys or even let him go to the pub anymore. I remember she started a fight with me once on the street and she claimed I tried to kill her boyfriend, which is his best mate. How do I defeat this cunt and get my best mate back for good? Um. So what, she's had... He's lost his friend. Yeah, so he's lost his friend to a, to a girlfriend who he thinks is a massive sea bomb, and um, yeah, he wants her back. He wants her back. Sorry, he What's wants her him. back. Got Sorry. to do with this whole thing. <laughs> he wants him back. He wants his back. His back. All right. Well, look, you, you got to give him an. You walk straight up to her. You get a golly from the deepest part of your fucking throat, and you give her an ultimatum: fuck off or golly face, cunt. And let her pick. And let her pick. And if she, she picks him, you let rip and you fucking golly in her fucking face. Fucking Shut man. up. Shut up and golly in it. All right? Yeah, that's my advice. And if oh. she says she takes it and he still goes with her, fuck him off. Split him from your life. Next. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of in agreement with Marty, but maybe cut some of the violence. <laughs> Oh, Matt, you're never going to get anywhere with no violence. Rats, <laughs> they rats all through the house. Violence. You need it's to sit form. him down, have a conversation. If he really loves that chick, oh, Matt, you're going to have to let him look go. Look at this. Look at this. You have to let him go. This single man sitting over here saying, have a rational conversation. Ration doesn't work. There's rats all through Michael's spare room. Yeah, fuck, dude. <laughs> look, there's one right there. Yeah, in the darkness, I see in the darkness I see oh. Oh, I can't believe it there's so many yeah there's too, far too many to count mm, there's more over there anyway I've got one I found one it. I have this chick living on my couch we have been in and out off relationship for 15 years now we get, only get stupid high and fuck like animals she's kind of cock blocking me but she also sucks me if I scratch my balls you guys are the only ones I would take advice from. One love from the up north on the globe. Stay hard, cunts. Wow. That sounded like a bunch of gibberish to me, but anyway. I reckon Matthew Brown. You probably that's You're it's... not from the north, so you don't understand that. Yeah, one of my He head. has a girl that he has known for a very long time. Yep. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. Living on his couch. Oh, okay. She's so dependent and so worthless that she can't even get her own fucking Hot. Yeah, you need to cut her loose. That's just. But she's been friends for fifteen years. It's not so easy, is it? It's a long time. You need to buy her a home. B- no, you need to cut her loose and fend for is that herself. The German there. Mm-mm, it's, I like putting s- bees on the end of words. Home. B- yeah. A home no, b- you don't. That's far <laughs> that's, too expensive. That's fraudulent. No, you, you, that's why that's would you tell her to get that's off the tax car. evasion? Put her on the tax, and that way. You, you take you the money that you, you're paying for the tax, you buy her a house, she's happy, you have a house now, so you, you, you got a plan B. <laughs> so you reckon stay with the chick? Stay with the chick, man. Let her live on the couch <laughs> and buy a home. B- for but her. don't No, 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 not for her. Just as an investment property. <laughs> and you stay at that home. Yeah, you both stay on the couch. Okay. I reckon. 
Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know about that, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll blame me for it. Like, yeah, if you would, you'd move into the new house if you bought it. Yeah, hundred percent. And maybe she could you stay could, on the couch too. I'd suggest getting her off. Oh, I just thought of it. I just it just sparked in my mind. Right, you ready? Burn the house down that you live in and claim insurance. You get a massive payout of money, and then you can turn to your friend and say. Oh no, my house burned down. Looks like you're gonna have to move out now. Or burn the house. Yeah, I'm with that one. With her in it <laughs> when she's on the couch, when she's asleep. That's another option. That's a darker route, but less issues later on. You understand? Be cheaper. Mm. All right, next one. Um, my boyfriend and I recently broke up after a Ooh. big fight at a party. <laughs> <laughs> I said, hi, I said hi, nice to meet you at a girl, uh, which is one of his friends. And she said to him, we've already met. And so my boyfriend got angry and said, I should try harder to be friends with the girls that he's friends with. Um, we're thinking of getting back together, but I hate his friends. What Wait, is I this do? a girl? This is a girl. A girl wrote into us. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> Start again? Fuck, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> No. Spinning That's his it. Spoon. You fucked that person's chance okay. of getting advice. Oh, so, really? It's too yeah. long. You took too much time. Um, I can try once. Moving more. on. Did you get it, Marty? Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, 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 All right, look. I'll look, briefly look, go look. back. So she's she's a chick. Her and her boyfriend broke up uh, after a fight at a party where she said hello to a girl, and that girl said, We've already met. You're not even listening. He pinched me. <laughs> not even <laughs> listening. Okay, go one more time. <laughs> look, she pinched him. So her and her boyfriend broke up after a fight at a party okay. right, with his friends there. Yep. And basically she said hello to a girl and the girl said to her, we've already met. Yep. And he got upset with her because she's not trying hard enough to like get to know his her friends. friends. Okay. <laughs> Michael. She says we're thinking about getting back together. This isn't but giving advice. Hates, this she is hates the friends. English comprehension with Michael. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I reckon. Look, yeah, what do you reckon? I reckon <laughs> break it up. <laughs> huh? Thanks for that. Yeah, look, it sounds like that is a very volatile relationship. And um, you, you look. You, I would, I wouldn't want that to get back together because it sounds like it's just yeah. gonna fall apart later on down the road. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I think so too. I think for him to get that angry over that without just trying to talk to you calmly. I oh think fucking here shit. we go. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. So, what is it again? <laughs> You stay with her. <laughs> <laughs> you stay with oh. him. I think it's a girl. Right, we're at a minute. We're at one oh, hour you stay with him. Going. Oh, all right. You guys have wasted. <laughs> our, our fans' times have been completely wasted. At least we're dressed up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We look, we look fine. <laughs> it looks like he belongs. He belongs in that time period. I got a time machine, Matthew. I believe you. Doesn't he? It looks like he belongs in that time period. So yeah, he does. He does. I bet you if I pull up some old photos of that He'll time. He'll be in them. He'll be there. He'll be in the photos. <laughs> All right, next we have our PO unboxing, where we unbox the things that you guys sent in to us. We have different shit this week. Yes, I love it when we have different shit. We have the <sighs> smallest note that we've ever- So interesting. Oh, wow, and that's incredible. Opens. And if you want to send something in, we'll open everything live on the podcast. We got a, there's the PO box right there. PO box two five six Tagum T A I G U M. I still got a letter from that dude, but I'm not going to open it. Yeah, it's going to sit look. right here next to me. Oh, no, it's more of this <laughs> signing shit, dude. <laughs> oh, it's the sign guy. He wants us to. Um, oh shit! This is a return his... one. I think. All right, look. This little note says, "My dick can speak fluent French and vomit sperm when sees Matt's mum." Oh, there you go. Someone has a crush Quiet? on my mother. You have a yeah, crush quiet. on fire? All right, here we have a box, all right? This first actual parcel we've received. And boy, oh, okay. Just, boy do we get excited with the yeah, parcels, eh? Yeah. Yeah, we're a bit gun shy because some people send body parts. And But I'm not things. worried. I don't mind. I don't mind today. Fucking cunt. <laughs> all right, let's see what we have, eh? We have... 
You're good. Oh, fucking fuck off Australian government. So they went in there and inspected those. All right. We have um, three uh, CDs from two red nep social masks. So it's, oh, it's like an album. One for you, one for me, one for Brown. We will listen to this. Some cool art. It's a CD. It's not, it's not, it's not, not so often you see CDs anymore. CDs yeah, and DVDs are quite rare now. So vocals by Kevin so and Two Red Nap is the name of the Mike band. And drums by Kevin. Thank you for that, first of all. And second of all, let's see what we'll read the note first. Oh. Alright, it's quite a long one. So strap yourselves in and have a bong. Bong break! Hello, Marty and Michael. First of all, I'd really like to thank you for doing what you do. The ded dedication in creating content and trying to keep in contact with your growing following is inspiring. Your content can really make a shitty day a bit better again. See, Matt? I'm a follower for a few years and I'd really like to gift you this mask. It was a lot of work, but I really enjoyed doing it. The mask is, of course, a Marty and Michael with a little Julian infection on the forehead it turned out a bit darker than i planned though ha 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 i also included some cds for the three of you i hope you like the metal yeah we'll fucking listen to it on as soon as on the drive home i'll stick it in the van hole. my cd player's broken from i don't the have a cd boys. player but i got one at home so i'll play it when i get you home. put it on your xbox listen to it in the van put it on your playstation I'm not really able to spam who the guys I've worked with on this CD are because some of the labels can be a pain in the ass, but I'm a singer on that and produced it. All right, well, fuck yeah, baby. Now for the challenge. Want challenge. to play a game? Here's right. the challenge connected to the mask. Set right. up two tables across each other so you can imitate each other during the challenge. Each person has an hour to cook three meals for the other to try to make the other person puke. After preparing the meals, you sit next to each other and eat. The person who pukes most out of the three meals loses. The person who loses has to wear this mask for two days straight. The winner may choose which two days. Go easy on each other, guys, or it just turns on raping Julian with the mask on it in some weird satanic ritual. It's up to you. Either way, I hope you enjoy your gift. Now you can use it in some kind of way in a sketch or stunt and then inspires more people out there to be creative and send you guys stuff with challenges attached. Greetings and respect from Sweden. Best, Kevin. Kevin, fucking thank you. Thank you very thank much. You. We appreciate it. See the now mask. let's see Have you the seen mask. it, Matt? No. We've I'll get ready, it. dude. We've seen it on Have social media. It? We've seen it on social media. Look at this. Like some... Oh, wow. wow. Look at that. It is fucking very good quality, isn't it? It's got our beards down, Pat. Have a look. Yeah. It's got our... Can you put it on, Matt? Please. I'm scared to... Yeah, no, I'm you scared to, to as well. It's oh, like, fuck. The wide just stopped filming. No, it's yeah, shit. it shook like that and it, it lifted up off he's the ground. He's going to get up every it time and he's going to look. It actually flew a bit, went up, bounced. All right, it's fine. All right, Matt Brown is now going to put the mask on and we oh, want to I see like what... doing this stuff. What, and you would look like... What if this is some like saw trap where I'm trapped in the mask? It might be, it? Matt. It could well be that. Can you see? Look, look at us. Oh, wow. Look at us, Matthew. Which side do you think is... Oh, it's, it's kind of creepy. You're the right and I'm the left. Yeah, you can tell by the beards who's who. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucked. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Wow. You could rob a, it's, I can't look away. It's like it's you, could rob, you could rob a 7-Eleven with it. And we will. We will do that from now on. Stop looking around like that. You're wow. freaking me out. <laughs> Oh, imagine That's that. scary. Yeah, imagine that standing over your bed. Yeah. Oh, I've got James's keys to his oh, house. Yuck, should I go I in like there that. dressed like this? We should fucking scare people with it. Yeah, let's oh, let's go to James's and I'll just stand here with this on. He'll know it's me. I think. Oh, man. man I can't I'm, take my I'm, eyes I don't, off. I don't want this. It's, imagine if it's got like a curse on it. Imagine if Matt killed us. Oh, oh look at that. don't do that. That's fucking fucked, cunt. Oh, masks aren't good. Look at how hot Bosley is. He's looking at me. I can tell by his body language. He's like, hurry the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, hurry up. I want to go home. Should I open the door? Yes. Yeah, let's have a look out there. I'll go out with the mask on. Have a oh. feel of that ass. Prank call time, prank call time, prank call time, prank. 
All right, for this week's prank call, we're going to call McDonald's and Darren is going to try and book in a children's party, but he's only going to do it if they let him bring his own alcohol. Oh, yes. I don't know if I can be here. Easy. Hey, how are you going? Do you still do them, um, like, uh, kids' parties and that, Uh, Maccas? Um, No, not at the moment, (laughs) sorry. Just with... um because of COVID, you can definitely come in and have a party, but we don't, like, host them anymore. Right, so if I come in with, like, um, I don't know, like, maybe, like, four or five kids and that, like, we can just sit, like, outside and put, like, party hat and that on um, and yeah, then yeah, let, let, sure. let the kids, like, have, like, um, fuck around on the playground and that, right? Yeah, yeah, that's all fine. We just don't, like, we won't have someone hosting for you. You're more than welcome to use the party room if it's not in use as well. Though. All right, so you've got, like, party room and that. Nah, that's sick. All right, well, um... If no one's in there, we might pop in there. Um, just quickly, also, do you do it? Do you we do we we is it sw- is it sweet if we bring our own like um beers and that? Like if we just bring like I don't know like a carton or something of beers in in the party room and we'll put them on ice. You can't um, have any alcohol just because we don't have like the um, approval to have it on this public place. Well, how come it's called party room then? Like if you can't even. It's, um, it's for it's just for the like it's a party room for the children. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, well the kids are. Be having some? Yeah, of course. We're just not allowed to have alcohol in, on our um, on your on your proper premises. On, on your premises, yes, that's right. Um, Thank you. No, that's right. Look, um, what if I like? Um, I'll just bring like a backpack, right? We're allowed backpacks to bring backpacks in the party room, right? Yeah, you can. Bring, oh, sweet, bring that sweet. All right, sexy. All right. I'm just telling you, but no, I'm not allowed to drink in the party room. No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. It's so, all sweet. Yeah. It's all sweet. I know what you're saying. I know okay. what you're saying, right? Oh, okay. oh, you're saying you can't know if no one's drinking in there, and and you you have. I'm telling you right now, don't don't worry. You don't need to check on nothing. Um, we we got no piss in that. All right, it's all G bowl. Now, what what days? Um, if we come in maybe Sunday morning, Sunday morning maybe like seven a.m. or something. Um, is that is that sweet? Is it pa- pa- um, party room be sweet? They're pretty much free on the weekends, yes. It's just usually nah, um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday morning. Yeah, sick. Out. Yeah, sick. But yeah, if you come in and no one's in there, nah, that's sick. Probably in there, yeah. Oh sweet! And one last thing. Um, look, I've only my son, right? Ezekiel. He's only he's only five, right? He doesn't have many uh, mates. He's only got like three cousins coming. Do you have like um, kids that you can like call and that to come and to the party as well? So he's got like mates and that. Or do you not do you not like hire out other kids to come to parties and that? Is no, that- we don't hire. Kids, sorry. No, well, what if what if there's some like in the playground that can I just like? Is there like? If there's, if there's other ones that their parents are fine right. for them to join, I don't right. see an issue there. But no yeah. worries. All right. Well, um, look, I'll come in on uh, Sunday morning, seven a.m. Um, okay. do do I need to book nothing or what? Do I just come in and say? No, nah, you said it was only like five kids, right? Yeah, well, five kids, but I'll probably try and get some. If there's any playing on the playground on Sunday morning, right? Which there probably will be. I'll try and flick a couple over and get them in the party room with us. So maybe like, maybe let's say I don't know, maybe nine nine to fifteen kids. Okay, that's fine, because I assume that they, like, they would have ordered and everything. Yeah, anyway, right. Yeah, whatever. right. Um, I can definitely make a note that you want to use the party room. But yeah, you mate. Yeah, write that it. down, mate. Um, also, yeah, just say, um, you know, we bring, like, two or three backpacks, but um, that's just for uh, supplies like um, sunscreen and shit. You don't need to, like, look in that. So just make a note, say, don't look in uh, that, because that's just for sunscreen. Sorry, if I say that, I feel like that's a little bit... Suspicious, and they're gonna come have a look. Uh, well, well, no, come on now, darling. You got you got to work with me here, darling. You can't call something a party room, right? And then not even let me bring in a bring in a backpack. Do you know what I mean? That's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, nah, well, that's what I'm saying, right? I'll bring a backpack in, and in the backpack, it's just like like shit. You're putting a fucking backpack, like um, I don't know, like water in that, and fucking sunscreen in that. Yeah. Yeah! My name's Darren! <laughs> my name's Darren! No, she hung up. Oh my god. Whoa. Dude. I, I fucking couldn't handle it. Why not, Matt? <laughs> Matt was up there just going like. You were with the rats. Pacing. Matt was enjoying rat wine. Oh yeah. Oh. Fuck. I love that. Yeah, wow. Was that, I don't like, know, is that an acceptable prank call? Yeah, I'll grab a couple of kids and flick them in there. Oh. 
Yeah! 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 like fun now and then. Yeah, Dan, last time you your time count, eh? Look, no, 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 it's out of fucking party, like Dan can't. I'm no good on the work side, can't, but fucking pull me in on a Friday night, can't. I'll fucking beam and can't. He loves opera. <laughs> Darren oh. is opera count. Opera. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh no. Oh, what's your heart? Did we shake hands and walk off. Is that what we did last yeah. time? Is that, that, is yeah. that it? That's yeah, it. Baby, that's it, baby. And this is our closing message. Whether you're, we'll see you guys next week. I reckon. Oh, we got to say we're the best. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We are. The we are the best. Best. We are the best. We are the best. We we're are the there. best. We are the best. We're the we are best. the best. We are the best. We are the best. We are the best. We are the best. Say it together. We are the best. 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 We. Oh man, I'm sweating so much. It's so hot. I gotta oh. go home. <laughs>